Good day, everyone. Uh, we are continuing with our accounting, grade 12. Uh, today's lesson is based on uh, the accounting paper, which was written in November 2020. So we are still doing accounting, grade 12, November 2022. But today, our main focus is on paper two. Today we are doing paper two. So may I request that you all take out accounting grade 12 November 2020 in bracket two. And we will be starting from question one. We will be starting from question one. Question one is 25 marks and it is based on VAT and creditors reconciliation. VAT and creditors reconciliation. That's 1.1. 1.1 is based on VAT and then 1.2 is creditors reconciliation. VAT, it is value added tax. It is VAT that is charged, it is tax that is charged on the supply of goods and services. But I want to also emphasize to you uh, students that VAT is not charged in all goods. There are some goods which are exempted from VAT, which are VAT exempted items. Some are zero rated and others are standard rated. So those that are standard rated, VAT is charged at 15%. And not all businesses charge VAT. Only the VAT vendors are allowed to charge VAT. So this question is based on VAT. And we know that if the price, for the price excluding VAT, price excluding VAT, price excluding VAT is equal to 100%. Price excluding VAT is 100%. And then VAT in South Africa is currently charged at 15%. So VAT is 15%. And therefore, price including VAT, price including VAT will be equal to 115. So price excluding VAT is 100%, VAT is 15, and price excluding VAT is 115. So let us look at the question that is here, which is question 1.1. 1.1.1, 1 .1, it says... Calculate the figures indicated by A to D in the table below. And there is information given in the question paper here. The table has got the price excluding VAT, the including VAT, and the VAT amount. So the first transaction there, which is A that we need to calculate, we are given the price excluding VAT, and we are also given the price including VAT. And our task is just to calculate VAT. So the price including VAT is 89,700. Price including VAT is 89,700. Right? And the price excluding VAT is 78,000. Minus 78,000. Because we want to calculate EVAT amount. So the price excluding VAT is 78,000. And the price including VAT is 89,700. So 89,700 minus 78,000. 89,700 minus 78,000 equals to 11,700. So our VAT amount is 11,700. But there are so many alternatives that you could have used to calculate this VAT amount of 11,700. For example, if I, I, we can do the other alternatives here, if you can take the 89,700, which is price, including VAT, and then you want to calculate VAT. Remember, VAT is 15, so you multiply by 15, and you divide by the percentage of the amount given. The amount given is 89,700, and it includes VAT. So the percentage of the amount including VAT is 15. So 89,700, 89,700 
multiply by 15 over 115 will give you 11,700. Will give you 11,700. Even when you decide to use the price excluding VAT, if you decide to use the price excluding VAT, the price excluding VAT is 78,000. And you want to calculate the VAT amount. The VAT percentage is 15, so you multiply by 15, and then you divide by the percentage of the amount given. The amount given, 78,000 here in this case, is the price excluding VAT. And the price excluding VAT is 100%, so it will be 15 over 100. So 78,000 multiplied by 15 over 100 will give you again 11,700. So these are other alternatives that you could have used to calculate the 11,700 VAT. But if you take the amount including VAT minus the amount excluding VAT, you are also getting the correct amount of 11,700 for VAT. That is line A. That is where we are required. And line B, we are required again to calculate the VAT amount and the amount given this is the discount received from suppliers and the amount that is given there is excluding VAT of 12,400. So there is 12,400 excluding VAT and we need to use that amount to calculate VAT amount. 12,400 is excluding VAT. If we want to calculate VAT, the percentage of VAT is 15. So you multiply by the percentage of what you want and then you divide by the percentage of the amount given. The amount given is excluding VAT and the price excluding VAT, I've already explained it, that it is 100%. So it will be 15 but over 100. So if it is 12,400 price excluding VAT and you want to calculate VAT, it will then be 12,400 multiplied by 15 over 100, which equals to before if VAT used to be 14%, and I remember at one stage, I think the minister at that time was Malusi Kikaba. He adjusted VAT and he moved it a little bit up from 14% to 15%. So then 12,400 multiplied by 15 over 100. 12,400 multiplied by 15 over 100. Then the VAT amount equals to 1,860. The VAT amount equals to 1,860, which is B. We are required to calculate the VAT amount. And then C, we are given the price including VAT. Oh, we are given the VAT amount. For transaction C, we are given the VAT amount. The VAT amount, which is 210. And we are required to calculate the price including VAT. Given the VAT amount of 210, we want to calculate the price including VAT. If we look at the table that I've given you here of the percentages, the price excluding VAT is 100, VAT is 15, so 100 plus 15, your price including VAT will be 115. So we want to calculate the price including VAT. You must multiply by the percentage of what you want we want to calculate the amount including vet which is 115 and divide by the percentage of the price given which the, the vat amount is 15 percent so you just divide by 15 here so it will then be 210 multiply by we want to calculate the price including vet so we need to multiply by 115 multiply by 115 we are given the VAT amount, so we need to divide by the percentage of the VAT amount, which is 15. So it will be 210 multiplied by 115 over 15, and the correct answer will be 1,610. Price including VAT is 1,610. Right, let us then go and check D. We are also required to calculate D. And what is it that is required it, with D? We want to calculate the VAT amount, having been given the price including VAT. The price including VAT that we are given is 158,700. We are given the price including VAT, 
of 158,700 and we are told that this includes sales for 9,200 which should have been sold at zero rate. So if there is 9,200 which is zero rated here, we're in the, that we need to take that 9,200 out because if it is zero rated, it means VAT is not charged on those items. So this includes the sales of 9,000 which should have been sold at zero rate. So let's take out 9,200. That's 9,200 equals to 158,700 minus 9,200. We are taking out the zero rated items. Because the zero rated items VAT is charged at 0%. There is no VAT is charged at 0%. So it's 158,700 minus 9,200, which equals to 149,500. 149,500. 158,700 minus 9,200. 158,700 minus 9,200 equals to 149,500. And then we want to calculate VAT. We have taken out the zero rated items. So then this amount is, uh, that is given is price including VAT. And we want to calculate VAT amount. VAT percentage is 15 and you divide by the percentage of the amount given, which is 115. Because this amount includes VAT, therefore we need to divide by its percentage, which is 115. So then it will be 149,500, 149,500, multiply by 15, divided by 115, equals to 19,500. So VAT amount is 19,500. So we are done with VAT calculations. So now we are proceeding to 1.2. Oh, there is 1.1.2. There is a question which is still under VAT there that we need to go through. There is question 1.1.2 which says, the internal auditor discovered that Amatle has been underpaying the amount due to SARS in respect of VAT. At each submission date, on inquiry, Amatle stated that she used the money to pay business expenses and adjusted the payment later. Comment on this practice and give Amatle advice. Right. This practice, we are, what we are getting here is that the internal auditor is using, is using the amount of money collected from customers, which is meant for VAT, and is using this money now to pay for business expenses and then make adjustment at a later stage, which is unethical. So our comment is that the business money should be used to pay for business expenses. VAT collected should be paid to SARS. The business money should be used to pay for business expenses. VAT collected should be paid to SARS immediately. So what we are saying is that it is unethical to use VAT money. You can even add by saying that this practice is unethical. It is unethical. This practice is unethical and the business may be fined for that. It is unethical for the business to use money for VAT to pay for its expenses. So the business has to ensure
We are advising that the business should make sure that they do a proper budget. The business needs to make a proper budget so that there is enough money uh, available to cover. There is enough money to cover operating expenses of the business so that the business does not then result to say that they want to use the money collected for VAT to pay for other expenses. So we are saying that the business should use business money to pay for business expenses and not the money that is collected for VAT. Money collected from, for VAT should be paid directly to SARS and not be used to pay for business expenses. And our advice that we are giving to this business is that they need to ensure that there is proper budget so that there is enough money to cover for operating expenses of the business so that they do not result to this unethical practice of then using vet money to pay for business expenses. So that is all with regards to vet, which was 1.1. And then now we are proceeding to 1.2.